Alright, let's work through the basic time value of money functions of the HP10 BII Plus financial calculator. Now the time value of money functions on this financial calculator can be replicated on most models of financial calculator, I'm sure. However, the button functions will be different. So before we look at performing any calculations, let's start with the basics. The buttons on the calculator will have up to three functions per button and you can swap between these by activating the blue or the orange function buttons above the C button here. When the orange function button is active, this small arrow will appear on the display. And when the blue is active, a small up arrow will appear next to it right here. And hopefully you've worked out how to turn on by pressing the on button. To turn off, hit orange and then the on button to activate the off function. Clearing what you see on the screen here can be done in a few different ways. Hit and see with none of the functions engaged will clear what you see on the screen now. And then hitting orange and then C to activate the see all or clear all function will clear all the functions that have been input into the calculator. For instance, if you've input values into N, I, PV or FV or any of the other input memory functions, hitting C will not clear these they'll remain in the memory and they'll affect the applicable calculations if you go to do those. When starting a new calculation, I recommend clearing all memory just in case by hitting orange and see all. Hitting the blue function before you hit clear all will allow you to clear a specific memory set of inputs. So you can follow the blue line that's connected to this C memory to see what it will clear. So blue clear and then 7 will wipe the bond memory, 4 for break even, 1 for time value of money, and 0 for cash flow. So you can see here blue, clear, bond, bond clear, clear, time value of money, TVM clear. So now that all the memory is clear, let's set up the display. So to do that, we're going to want to hit orange and then the equal sign to activate this display function here. And now we're going to hit the number of digits that we're going to want to display on the screen. And I recommend leaving this set to the max at 9. A final check to perform when setting up a time value of money calculation is the number of compounding periods per year set to the calculator. Now to set the number of periods per year, first you hit a number and then orange and then PMT to access the P slash year button. Now when you clear all on the calculator, the setting for this value will flash on the screen. See? 5. Do it again. 5 per year. To avoid confusion, I suggest leaving this set to 1. And if you need to adjust your calculation to account for more frequent compounding periods per year, you simply multiply the number of years by the number of periods and divide the interest rate by the same number. For instance, when compounding quarterly, simply multiply the number of periods by 4 and divide the annual interest rate by 4 and use these figures 8 and 2 in your calculation. For semi-annual compounding, multiply the number of periods by 2 and divide the interest rate by 2 and use these figures in your calculation. And just remember that compounding more frequently will always give you a higher result because you're earning compound interest on compound interest within the period. So now with the memory clear, let's perform a basic time value of money calculation. I'll cover off some other functions and shortcuts you can take with this calculator in future videos. To perform a time value of money calculation, we need to have three variables and we can solve for the fourth. Now, the four variables that we're talking about here are the future value, FV, the present value, PV, R or I, the interest rate, and N, the number of years or the number of periods. Uh, it's only years if you're working on an annual basis. So, let's work through this problem down here. What is the future value in five years' time of a $5,000 investment made today, generating compound interest semi-annually at a rate of 12% per annum? So first we need to identify our variables. So we're given here, we want to see what it's like in five years time. The initial investment is 5,000. The interest rate is 
we're looking for the future value. And also take note that this is mentioning semi-annual compounding interest. So we're going to need to modify this five year years to make up for semi-annual compounding. So let's plug these in here. Our present value is $5,000. However, keep in mind that because this is an investment being made today, that is going to be input to the calculator as a negative number, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. The interest rate is 12. However, due to the semi-annual compounding, we're going to have to divide this interest rate by two to count for two periods per year, giving us a I value of six. And a number of years, so it's not five years because it's two periods per year. So it's gonna be five times two to give us 10. So here's our present value, here's our interest, and then here's our number of periods. So let's go ahead and put these into the calculator and the order does not matter. So we have 10 is our N value, 6 is our I value, we've got a PV of 5,000. Now we've got to input this as a negative value, however don't just hit the, net, uh, the minus button. Use this button here above the blue function button, the plus minus, to change the sign. And then we're going to input that as our PV. Now to solve for future value, we're going to hit this FV button here and get the answer is 8954.24 equals 8954.24. So that is our future value of $5,000 in five years time, compounding semi-annually at 12%. Now we can go back and check that this is the correct number, do a bit of a back test for solving for the present value. Using the same values, however, inputting the future value and solving for the present value. So let's go ahead and put those numbers in again. We've got 10 for our N value. We've got six for our I value. Right now our future value is gonna be eight, 954.24 go ahead and hit FV and this is a future value so this does not need to be a negative number and we're going to go ahead and solve for PV which gives us 5000 rounded down if you want to see more videos like this and other functions of this calculator please check out my channel and don't forget to like this one and subscribe and thank you very much for watching